Traditional Chinese characters Traditional Chinese, Zheng Tz Fan Tz Simplified Chinese, Zheng Tz Fan Tz Pinyin, Zheng Tz Fan Tz are Chinese characters in any character set that does not contain newly created characters or character substitutions performed after 1946. They are most commonly the characters in the standardized character sets of Taiwan, of Hong Kong and Macau, and in the Kangxi Dictionary. The modern shapes of traditional Chinese characters first appeared with the emergence of the clerical script during the Han dynasty, and have been more or less stable since the 5th century during the Southern and Northern dynasties. The retronym, "'Traditional Chinese' is used to contrast traditional characters with simplified Chinese characters, a standardized character set introduced by the government of the People's Republic of China on mainland China in the 1950s. Traditional Chinese characters are currently used in Taiwan, Hong Kong, and Macau, as well as in overseas Chinese communities outside Southeast Asia. In contrast, simplified Chinese characters are used in mainland China, Singapore and Malaysia in official publications. However, several countries, such as Australia, the US and Canada, are increasing their number of printed materials in simplified Chinese, to better accommodate citizens from mainland China. The debate on traditional and simplified Chinese characters has been a long-running issue among Chinese communities. Currently, a large number of overseas Chinese online newspapers allow users to switch between both character sets. <laughs> Modern usage in Chinese-speaking areas <laughs> China Although simplified characters are taught and endorsed by the government of China, there is no prohibition against the use of traditional characters. Traditional characters are used informally in regions in China primarily in handwriting and also used for inscriptions and religious text. They are often retained in logos or graphics to evoke yesteryear. Nonetheless, the vast majority of media and communications in China is dominated by simplified characters. Hong Kong In Hong Kong and Macau, traditional Chinese has been the legal written form since colonial times. In recent years, simplified Chinese characters in Hong Kong and Macau has appeared to accommodate mainland Chinese tourists and immigrants. This has led to concerns by many residents to protect their local heritage. Taiwan. Taiwan has never adopted simplified characters. The use of simplified characters in official documents is even prohibited by the government of Taiwan. Simplified characters are understood to a certain extent by any educated Taiwanese, and learning to read them takes little effort. Some stroke simplifications that have been incorporated into simplified Chinese are in common use in handwriting. For example, while the name of Taiwan is written as Taiwan, the semi-simplified name Taiwan is also acceptable to write in official documents. Topic: <inaudible> Philippines. In Southeast Asia, the Chinese Filipino community continues to be one of the most conservative regarding simplification. While major public universities are teaching simplified characters, many well-established Chinese schools still use traditional characters. Publications like the Chinese Commercial News, World News, and United Daily News still use traditional characters. On the other hand, the Philippine Chinese Daily uses simplified. Aside from local newspapers, magazines from Hong Kong, such as the Yazao Zukan, are also found in some bookstores. In case of film or television subtitles on DVD, the Chinese dub that is used in Philippines is the same as the one used in Taiwan. This is because the DVDs belongs to DVD Region Code 3. Hence, most of the subtitles are in traditional characters. <laughs> United States Overseas Chinese in the United States have long used traditional characters. A major influx of Chinese immigrants to the United States occurred during the latter half of the 19th century, before the standardization of simplified characters. Therefore, United States public notices and signage in Chinese are generally in traditional Chinese. <laughs> <laughs> Chinese names 
Traditional Chinese characters standard characters are called several different names within the Chinese speaking world. The government of Taiwan officially calls traditional Chinese characters standard characters or orthodox characters traditional Chinese jiangti zi simplified Chinese jiangti zi pinyin jiangti zi zuyin fahao jiangti however the same term is used outside Taiwan to distinguish standard simplified and traditional characters from variant and idiomatic characters in contrast users of traditional characters outside Taiwan such as those in Hong Kong Macau and overseas Chinese communities and also users of simplified Chinese characters call them complex characters traditional Chinese fanti zi simplified Chinese fanti zi pinyin fanti zi zuyin fahao an informal name sometimes used by users of simplified characters is old characters. Chinese, Lao Zi Pinyin, Lao Zi, Zuyin Fahao. Lao users of traditional characters also sometimes refer them as full Chinese characters. Traditional Chinese, Quan Ti Zi simplified Chinese, Quan Ti Zi Pinyin, Quan Ti Zi, Zuyin Fahao, Quan Ti Zi to distinguish them from simplified Chinese characters. Some traditional character users argue that traditional characters are the original form of the Chinese characters and cannot be called complex. Similarly, simplified characters cannot be standard because they are not used in all Chinese speaking regions. Conversely, supporters of simplified Chinese characters object to the description of traditional characters as standard since they view the new simplified characters as the contemporary standard used by the vast majority of Chinese speakers. They also point out that traditional characters are not truly traditional as many Chinese characters have been made more elaborate over time. Some people refer to traditional characters as simply proper characters. Chinese, zheng zi pinyin, zheng zi, and modernized characters as simplified stroke characters. Simplified Chinese, jian bai zi traditional Chinese, jian bai zi pinyin, jian bai zi or reduced stroke characters. Simplified Chinese, Jian Bai Zi, traditional Chinese, Jian Bai Zi, Pinyin, Jian Bai Zi, simplified and reduced are actually homophones in Mandarin Chinese, both pronounced Jian. The use of such words as complex, standard, and proper in the context of such a visceral subject as written language arouses strong emotional reactions, especially since there are also political ramifications in this case. Debate on traditional and simplified Chinese characters explores the differences of opinion that exist on this matter within Chinese-speaking regions. Topic: <inaudible> Printed text. When printing text, people in China, Malaysia, and Singapore mainly use the simplified system developed by the People's Republic of China government in the 1950s. In writing, most people use informal, sometimes personal simplifications. In most cases, an alternative character yi-tz will be used in place of one with more strokes, such as T for T. In the old days, there were two main uses of alternative characters. First, alternative characters were used to avoid using the characters of the formal name of an important person in less formal contexts as a way of showing respect to the said person by preserving the characters of the person's name. This act is called offense avoidance", by way in Chinese. Secondly, alternative characters were used when the same characters were repeated in context to show that the repetition was intentional rather than an editorial mistake. By topic. Computer encoding In the past, traditional Chinese was most often rendered using the Big Five character encoding scheme, a scheme that favors traditional Chinese. Unicode, however, has become increasingly popular as a rendering method. Unicode gives equal weight to both simplified and traditional Chinese characters. There are various IMES input method editors available to input Chinese characters. There are still many Unicode characters that cannot be written using most IMES. One example would be the character used in the Shanghainese dialect instead of Ma, which is U plus 20C8 E Fa, fa with a co-radical. Web pages The World Wide Web Consortium recommends the use of the language tag zhhant as a language attribute value and content language value to specify web page content in traditional Chinese. Usage in other languages 
Traditional Chinese characters are also known as hanja in Korean almost completely replaced by hangul in the late 20th century, but nonetheless unchanged from Chinese except for some Korean-made hanja, and many kanji used in Japanese are non-simplified, in which these non-simplified characters are called kaiujitai. Compared to the Chinese reform, many simplified kanji were less affected such as the character for wide Kanji. Simplified Chinese form, guang equals traditional form. They coincide with those simplified in China but some were simplified differently, thus being a different standard e.g. dragon. Long current standard Japanese, tatsu, ryu, long Chinese simplified, long Chinese traditional, long pinyin, lung for Cantonese, yang Korean. See also Simplified Chinese characters Debate on traditional and simplified Chinese characters Chu Nam Hanja Keishu Kanji Kaiujitai Ju ZT or Ju ZT Japanese traditional characters Multiple association of converting simplified Chinese to traditional Chinese References <laughs>